The thirty ninth lesson. At a German lesson. Jimmy's German teacher fell seriously ill. The school children were delighted. No one among the school teachers could replace her. So there was a general rejoicing on this occasion in Jimmy's form. But their joy was to die pretty soon. The director declared that he had found a substitute for Frau Schwartz, who for a while would act a German teacher. The children hung down their heads. What if the new teacher was too strict? They had had only a few German lessons yet and could neither read nor speak. Frau Hoch was Frau Schwarz's bosom friend. It was a tall blonde with light blue eyes. Her voice was very deep and loud and she looked like a man in disguise. But in reality, Frau Hoch had a tender heart and trusting nature. If only the children knew how much their new teacher was afraid of them. Fortunately for her, they did not know anything about it. Frau Hoch had never taught in any school before. For friendship's sake, she agreed to act as a teacher in order to substitute her sick friend Frau Schwarz. So she had a goose flesh all over when she entered Jimmy's form for the first time. All the pupils stood up and greeted her. Frau Hoch was deeply moved. She addressed them in German, but the children only blinked their innocent eyes and did not say a word. The poor teacher was at a loss. She tried to make them read, but they could not. She called some of them to the blackboard, but no one could write a word. Frau Hoch was in despair. Then she decided to begin from the very beginning and teach them the alphabet. In a week's time, the children knew how to write and pronounce German letters. But in less than a week's time, they found out that Frau Hock had a soft, loving heart and a trusting nature. The pupils liked her, but they were not a bit afraid of her and always made a terrible noise at her lessons. One day, Frau Hock told them that there were three genders in German according to which a table was he and a door was she, and the children burst into laughter. Frau Hoch, do tables wear trousers? the boys roared. Frau Hoch, do doors wear skirts and blouses? the girls laughed. The whole class was laughing as if they would die. The German teacher tried in vain to stop their noise. They would not listen to her. Children, to stop shouting! I'll be obliged to fetch your Mr. Director, the poor teacher said. A new burst of laughter came from her merry pupils. It was so funny to hear sh instead of ch and t instead of d. Kind-hearted as she was, Frau Hoch had to go to the director. And yet she hoped the children would be frightened and would stop their noise as soon as she left the classroom. But the children knew she was not a sneak and did not pay any attention to her threat, so the merriment went on as before. Unfortunately, the director was passing by just as Frau Hock came out of her classroom. He saw her angry red face and heard the noise of merry voices inside. Frau Hock, what's going on in your class? he asked, looking at her through his spectacles. The children are laughing at my poor English, Mr. Director, she said apologetically. The director entered the classroom. The noise stopped the moment the pupils saw their director. Well now, what's all this about? he asked severely. The class was silent. Will you be so kind as to answer my question? What does all this noise mean? he repeated, frowning. May I ask you a question, sir? The carrot asked quite unexpectedly. Is it possible that a door should be she and a table he? Both of them are made of wood. Both of them are not alive. How can that be? Who told you such a thing? The director asked, turning to the teacher. Oh, Mr. Director, 
poor Frau Hoch answered. There are three genders in German, masculine, feminine, and neuter. Oh, I see now, the director exclaimed. I thought the boy was speaking of the English language. I see. Yes, children, your teacher is right. Many languages have three genders, and you never know which thing is which. For instance, in French, German and Russian, and so on, inanimate things have genders. That is why you must study your German very hard in order to use German genders correctly. Dictations and translations from English into German will do a lot of good. From this day on, you'll write German dictations and translations every day until you know how to write correctly, he said as he left the room.